Hey, good day, welcome to, back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Secrets of the Zoo Down Under. They don't just say Australia, they say Down Under. Uh, <clears throat> this is one of a series of Secrets of the Zoo series? There's many series of series. Uh, it's it's a lot. There's uh, This one's three seasons long as, as of yet, uh, it's from 2020 to present. Uh, there's about 42 episodes currently. Uh, it's, it says present, so it means it, it's still going. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, of course, takes place in Australia. Probably all over Australia, it, at least I only watched one episode, and that takes place in Taronga at uh, their zoo. And it follows the, the veterinarian staff, the doctors, the handlers, the keepers, the everything that uh, helps these animals survive and thrive in a controlled environment. Yes, uh, this, yeah, I'm not going to get into all that. But uh, <laughs> in this case, it, it helps a number of, of species, including some that are endangered and some uh, that probably have never existed anywhere else. There's, you know, how uh, this first episode mainly focuses on the platypus. They have a male and female platypus couple uh, that they are preparing to send outside of Australia for the very first time to the San Diego Zoo, the world famous San Diego Zoo here in California. And uh, so, yeah, this is a couple years ago. I imagine they hopefully they're still there. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably should go go down there and check that out. And I, now I have a reason to go. I can say, I saw you on television. You're a platypus. Um, but yeah, the, the, the point of that is, I mean, it's a, it's a momentous occasion. They make a big deal of it throughout the episode, while they also visit with other different creatures that are found all over Australia, including elephants and penguins and spiders. Some big spiders. Uh, and some other just not so big spiders, but just as dangerous. Um, one, they spend a lot of time. The, the camera work in this is there's a lot of close-up stuff. So you want to see a spider up close that looks that feels threatened and what it looks like when it's about to attack? Yeah. Uh, web, uh, it's a web funnel spider? Funnel web spider? Yeah, something like that. Funnel web spider. Uh, yeah. It, there's one point where one of the vets has to spend a good amount of time getting what looks like hundreds of mites off of the body of the spider. Yeah. And honestly, it's the spider doesn't look any bigger than a, just a few inches, uh, but that's still bigger than most <laughs> anybody would ever want to see. But the, the mites, there, even though he spends a good amount of time uh, telling us what he's doing and shows him how he washes off the mites, and they don't seem to be parasitic, uh, harmful, but it's still an irritation, I imagine, to the spider. He's worried about whether the spider will be happier or not. <laughs> a happy spider is, I think, a happy. We're, we're all happy because of that. Because an angry spider seems like it would be dangerous. So, but even though he gets so many mites off, I can still see when, they're, when he's almost done that there's still lots of little white, tiny mites all over it. So, yeah. Uh, you get to see animal, uh, the, the elephants handling a heat wave where they take a lot of the vegetables they gather from local markets like the, the scraps and the pulp and everything else and peels from bananas and they freeze them in buckets of water and then they put them out and the elephants just use their three tons of power to just crush them and take all the fun stuff out of it but while also enjoying all the, the cool coolness of the ice so yeah it's fight, fighting the heat uh, for them and you get to see the whole breeding process you don't get to watch but you get to see the whole breeding process of how they uh, watch over the penguins and uh, sometimes they produce eggs that don't really have no nothing much more than the yolk but you know it's uh, what you got to do you got to check on them the penguins are kind of shy and some of them they take care of the chicks and they they help them do their first feeding and their first swimming and everything else so it's kind of it's kind of neat but the platypus is kind of the big focal point of this and i learned a lot about a platypus i want I, i'm only using the singular because i'm not sure if it's platypi or platypuses or what i i didn't look that up so <laughs> yeah it's the platypus um 
they uh, I just didn't know a lot about the I didn't know, know a lot about the spurs that they have on their back heels the males anyway uh, that they're poisonous and they're dangerous yeah they're just figuring like they're duck beavers that are just cute I guess but and, and I mean there's so much going into a platypus genetically it's a mammal that lays eggs and there's a little bit of one woman taking care of him makes a comment there's a little bit of lizard also mixed in there that's an evolutionary uh, anomaly that i think we should all know more about but uh, you know there's there's more than just platypus platypi platypuses in this so yeah i think uh it's it's certainly educational and you get to see people who really enjoy doing the work uh hats off to them because honestly uh, they are, they have the care and the patience uh, and the uh, fortitude <laughs> to, to handle animals at a level that I, I, I don't think I could. So good, good, good on them. So uh, it's, it's worthwhile. This is something that uh, maybe your little ones might uh, find interesting. Certainly all, plenty of animals just to see lots of cute ones. Hey, there's a koala. There's also a red panda in the second episode from what, it, from what I can see here. Uh, so yeah, there's all sorts of uh, neat animals to see that are indigenous or at least uh, thriving more in Australia than you would find them in any other part of the world. So it's it's worth checking out if that's your kind of thing. And there's plenty of episodes already on here and plenty more to come, I imagine. So yeah, check it out. Um, again, documentaries, it's a docuseries about zoos and everybody's cup of tea. It's not something I'm going to probably check out myself again, but... Uh, yeah, you know what? They do good work. So it's a, it gives an, a peek into the, the lives of the people, or the, the animals and the people who take care of them, uh, specifically in Australia, but around the world. That's what all the Secrets of the Zoo episodes series are about. So let's pick tomorrow's episode. 117. 117. Scroll back way down. <laughs> Okay, I do make the joke that when we get documentary stuff, we see a lot of mummies and sharks, but I'm realizing now we probably get more than anything else veterinarian episodes. <laughs> we just had a zoo one, and now we get one rather than Australia, we get one in Texas. This is Dr. T, Lone Star Vet. Yeah, not Mr. T. Doctor. He didn't go through all through a medical school to be called Mr. T. He's a Dr. T, and he's a Lone Star Vet. And that's what we're watching next on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that.